Hey Fit Farm, welcome back to my fitness channel. So today we are here to rectify a big mistake that most people do when doing push-ups. So get ready to be taught. So first things first, we're going to do a close flat push-up or a regular push-up. So when you're doing a close flat push-up or a regular push-up, you're supposed to go down, attach your fingers together, put both of your palms down flat onto the ground. Plant them onto the ground, then drive the legs behind. <coughs> you can either attach your feet together and your knees together, or you can leave an, a small interval in between your legs and the knees. But I always prefer to, to attach my feet together and my knees together. And then you keep your core nice and tight. Then as you go down, as you take your chest pads down, in between your forearms, you let your chest pads touch the ground, and then as you push up, come up so by when you're doing a close flat push up you make sure that your elbows are not forming a letter U or you make sure that your elbows are not going outwards because that is very wrong as you push up you make sure that you're breathing out or exhaling and then as you go down breathing up you breathe out so, and your elbows are supposed to form a letter V. That is the correct form of doing a close flat push-up and a wide, a wide flat push-up, which will be following after the close flat push-up or regular close flat push-up. So you see, look at my elbows forming a letter V and not a letter U. Or my elbows are not forming, are not going outwards. So it is inwards. <coughs> and backwards. Same thing should happen, you should adhere to those rules when you're doing even the wide flat push-ups. So let's do the close flat push-ups or the regular flat push-ups and the wide flat push-ups. So please be sure to subscribe, like and comment and also share this video widely with your friends. Thank you.